All right, YouTube. <clears throat> I wanted to bring up a point. I've seen a lot of mistakes made on guys cutting cross members doing these V8 swaps, mainly LS swaps. If you're doing a big block swap, or you've got to notch your cross member for an aftermarket panel, small block, or what have you. These guys go in and they're measuring center line using basically going off that hole. That's what I'm guessing, but most of them I've seen. And they're cutting it evenly to each side. They set their engine in and you got a gap over here from hell and it still touches on this side. Here's why. A V8 in a car sets, or V6, they set to the passenger side. That is done to give you the additional steerance clearance they needed for this steering on the driver's side. If you stand back and you look at this and the way that this is lined up, you look at where that motor mount pad's at and where that motor mount pad's at. It's not hard to see that this one is set further over. The entire thing is set to the over to the passenger side. It's not hard to see. If you look under a car, you'll see that it's set to that side. If you come out here and say you put a straight edge up the frame over here and up the frame over here and you get them straight and you measure the center line of your air cleaner stud to each one of those, you'll notice that the engine's setting closer to the passenger side. Again, to clear the steering. Had to have move room for the steering to come through without hitting the exhaust, getting too close to the exhaust, and so forth. That's nine inches I cut out of mine, and that's to fit that big ass Melodon pan, eight quart pan, on my big block. It is cut four inches to the driver's side and five inches to the passenger side. And when I set the engine in there, there's about three eighths of an inch of clearance. To 516 somewhere in there on either side of the pan it's perfectly even i wish i made video when the engine was setting in there if you run a stock pan on a big block you don't have to cut it out like that you just might have to cut in about an inch and leave the bottom in there i think i showed one of my old videos where that's the way it was but i had to notch this out now because that pan back of the sump to the front of the sump is 10 inches where the old one was only about eight and a half. And at a slope where this one goes straight down. That pan's also nine and a half inches deep. It is an eight quart Melodon pan. Another thing you can use for a reference point is when you go to notch, you can use your bolt holes. And that's what I did. Now this is if you have an engine in it and you go to change pans for some reason, you can count your bolt holes on your old pan and see where it hits while the engine's setting in there. And when, when you go to the new pan, you can count bolts and see where it's at. That sump is just actually right about here on the fifth bolt hole, where this one is just behind the sixth bolt hole, which is about an inch and three eighths difference is what it measured out as. But I went ahead and cut mine out two inches because I gotta be able to get my drain plug, which extends out another half inch. But again, measure three times, four times, cut once. Again, the engine sets in here offset to the passenger side. Do not, now you can use this for a center line. That's fine. That's what I did. That big hole right there. But again, it's four inches to here and five to here, I believe. Uh, let's see, where is my rate measure? And we will measure and see here. Here we go. Okay. As you can see, from over here to right there, center line, that's four inches going that way. Center line to this side is five inches. Just like I thought I did. My memory did not slip me on that one. Although I have slipped since I've done that. But as you can see, it's offset. And everybody that's seen my videos knows this had a big block in it. There was no pan fitment issues. There was no problem at all. Drove the truck, run the truck, beat the shit out of the truck. There's the engine sitting there. It's going in that one. I gave it to my son. 
for all his help. But again, offset to the passenger side. Mine is an inch. It come out perfect. And if you're doing a small block, you shouldn't, unless you use an aftermarket pan with, you know, seven, eight, nine quart or whatever, the square sump, you shouldn't even have to cut this out with a stock five or four quart pan. I've never cut one out. It's close, but it don't hit. Especially if you put your motor mounts in the top position. Another thing, don't. If you're going to do anything with any horsepower and you use a 2.8 frame mount, do not use a stock mount. Or this kind of shit happens. See how that plate's all bent right there? Motor mounts rolled around in there. Yep. That's only about maybe 50 miles drive time. If that. And it just trashed that mount. Twisted it. Contorted it. Yep. That's on the lift side. Torque side where it torques up. And you can see as it started shoving the mount out. So, yeah, don't use those. Either use a neoprene mount, polyurethane mount, or a solid mount if you want to put up with the harmonics coming through your chassis. That's fine. I don't like it. But again, offset cutout for oil pan. I'm not trying to sound like an ass, but it's better that you know and do it now. That way you don't have a inch and a half gap on this side and you barely touches on this side or barely clears and then it like me if i did that that shit would bother me i'd be losing sleep i'd be out here trying to fill that back in with something because i knew it wasn't right but we test fit the engine we set it down in there we served where the pan was setting we center lined it with plumb lines to the motor mounts and then we seen and already knew it's set to the side, but then it gave us the measurements we needed to do the four and the five. But there you go. If you start out with a four and five, you're not gonna go wrong. You can trim it from there. And another thing, when you cut that out, you need to put either break, bolt something between the motor mounts, weld something between the frame. I've got a piece of two by three by three sixteenths tube up here for an added cross member. For added bracing. One, because of the power the motor is going to make. Two, is when you cut this out, you need something to hold it together because it's going to flex. This stuff is not quite 3 16 this metal. If you cut too much out of here, it's going to try to fold a little bit. Okay? It's not going to take much to kink this. Because there's nothing really there, if you think about it. There's not much there. That, I'm going to brace it and plate it and fix it all up and put a truss under the bottom of it. But again, offset your cut to the passenger side. Later.